Hey guys, it's Aussie Reptiles here. Now I'm doing a quick video today on these guys. I know I've just set them up again, uh, just changed their layout, but I've done it again. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's enjoy and I'll get to showing you guys what's happened. So what have I done? Uh, basically what I've done is I've changed uh, around the lizards. They're all in different spots. So we'll start here at the bottom. Here we have the Het Hypermelanistic or Het Black. Uh, same basic layout, except she's now got a little rug there just in case she wants to be warmer. So yeah, again, she has no heat light, so she's down in here at the bottom, uh, just chilling at the bottom. Uh, yeah. Then up above that, we have Toothless, the Hypermelanistic or Black Bluey. Um, so he's down here, he's got a ceramic heater. This is one of the main reasons I wanted to swap these guys around. So, he's always had it. I haven't changed the setups, they've got the exact same lights, I just wanted this guy, toothless with the ceramic heater, to be below these guys. So if you don't know what's in here, uh, basically it is my uh, baby hypermelanistic or black bluey and my Queensland. So that's the black baby and uh, the other one is hiding. Uh, but so they're set up now. Of course they've got their heat light, which I can start to turn off at night time now. Uh, oh, there's the other one. I just pushed it out of the hive. Anyway, so <laughs> they've now got the heat light for basking in the, in the morning. I can turn this off at night time and the heat from the ceramic heat light underneath will heat up the floor, uh, sort of acting like a heat mat for a, for um, the lizards on top. So these guys, so they get pretty much a heat light effect now. I mean a heat mat uh, effect, sorry. So this light will most likely stay on anyway but it does provide them with that extra belly warmth, which is good, especially because these are babies. I don't want them getting cold at all in winter. Uh, with the adults, it's fine because they go into brumation anyway. Like these guys here, no lights at all for winter. They're tucked away. As you can see, there's one sleeping right there. So they're tucked away, no heat. They shut themselves down, slow themselves down for uh, winter, and then once they get that warmth, they like, kick into breeding mode. So that's what I'm trying to stimulate with all the other ones. But babies, don't want them to go into brumation. They need to stay warm uh, for their first year or so. And then below, uh, above that, sorry, we've got the baby blotch blue tongues, blotch cross eastern blue tongues. So not only now, if this light stays on, does that also provide them with the heat matte effect? They've also got their heat light, of course. But yeah, that's basically providing um, the baby blue tongues, both ones, with uh, underbelly heat. Um, not necessarily if I turn this one off, but this one definitely will have underbelly heat. So with that staying on, it will provide them with heat. If this light stays on, it will provide them with heat. Because this one gets turned off at night time because it's a bit too bright. This one's not that bad, but I might start turning it off now. Uh, anyway, basically what I did was set it up to benefit the animals more, getting them more warmth all the time. Also, just one more th quick thing while I'm here. I've taken the brown Queensland out of this tank. So there was three babies in there, now there's only the two. He's up here in one of the tub systems, along with a Queensland blue tub, uh, a silver one. These tubs are plenty big enough uh, for babies to juvenile blue tongues. Uh, they've both got heat mats, they'll both be staying warm over winter. I just, he was getting too big for these two, I want them to eat more, uh, and I want them to be able to grow bigger. Um, so I've taken him out for the time being, may put him back in later, but for now he's out to give these guys a chance of growing. Okay guys, thanks for watching the update on uh, these tanks. Uh, stay tuned for the next video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.